Hello, everyone, and welcome to the CMR ITO webinar on the correct use of your professional titles. My name is Linda Goff, and I'm the registrar and CEO of CMR ITO. And today we're just going to be doing a quick webinar to review to make sure everybody understands how to use your professional titles and designations. It's very confusing. Um, there are so many different acronyms, so many different organizations. Um, the important one to remember for your CMR ITO uh, designation is that we are a regulatory body. And so our designations are called protected titles set out in legislation. Um, and uh, so it's really clear what it is that you need to be using. I've got a little video here just to uh, kind of review um, what it is that CMR ITO does and where we get our legal authority from. Medical radiation and imaging technologists in Ontario are self-regulated professionals. Self-regulation is based on the idea that qualified professionals have the knowledge, the skills and the judgment to set the required qualifications and competence to be members of that profession with the goal, in the case of our profession, of ensuring safe and effective delivery of medical radiation and imaging services. Self-regulation entrusts medical radiation and imaging technologists with the responsibility for governing ourselves in the interest of protecting the public. Under two pieces of legislation, the Regulated Health Professions Act and the Medical Radiation and Imaging Technology Act, anyone using the title of MRT or DMS or practicing the profession in Ontario must be registered with the College of Medical Radiation and Imaging Technologists of Ontario. CMRITO regulates the profession in five specialties. Radiography, nuclear medicine, radiation therapy, magnetic resonance, and diagnostic medical sonography. Funded by our members and governed by elected professional members and appointed public members, our college sets the requirements for becoming a medical radiation and imaging technologist. We set the standards of practice for members who provide medical radiation and imaging services. And we ensure members maintain their professional competence by addressing any concerns through formal complaints, investigation, and discipline processes. Self-regulation is a privilege, but self-regulation also requires continued public confidence that our profession will set and maintain among our fellow practitioners, high standards of safe, effective, and ethical care. To learn more, visit cmritl.org. Great, thank you. So um, in summary, uh, you just saw how we're set out in legislation. Um, and so it's all legal. It's all set out in the law what our protected title is and what our um, professional abbreviations are. So for MRITs in Ontario, you must be registered with CMAR ITO in order to be able to practice. So that's the number one thing. It's uh, mandatory licensing, registration, there's many words for it, um, but under the RHPA, we call it registration. Uh, another word would be a license. The name, registration status, and other information about members is available on the public register. And so this is an important component of public protection, that the public should be able to go to the register and find out if their medical radiation and imaging technologist is registered um, with the college. No one can use the protected title or its abbreviation without being a member of CMR ITO. And that's because this shows that the individual is um, registered with the regulator and legally authorized to practice the profession in Ontario. So again, a very important public protection piece. And I'm sure many of you have gone to the College of Physicians and Surgeons website, or maybe the College of Massage Therapists, and uh, checked out your health professional um, that you've been referred to. 
The only difference for our profession, of course, is that you generally don't get to choose your MRIT. Uh, it's whoever is going to be uh, performing that procedure that day. So the public um, may be not as aware that, um, that there is a choice, um, but that's because of the nature of the profession. It is important to know, however, that your MRIT is registered. And so for us in our profession, it's most often the um, um, uh, the employers or the managers who are checking to make sure that their employees are registered um, before they hire them or on, on an ongoing basis. So um, our legislation uh, is set out in our registration regulation under the MRIT Act says that we are able to issue certificates of registration to qualified MRITs in five specialties. And you know what those are. Um, radiography, radiation therapy, and nuclear medicine are our oldest specialties. And um, MR and diagnostic medical sonography are newer. Uh, and in fact, diagnostic medical sonography, we've only been regulating uh, for two years. So here's how the specialty titles and abbreviations look in the registration regulation. So this is where we see medical radiation technologist radiography or MRTR, medical radiation technologist radiation therapy or radiation therapist or MRTT, uh, same for nuclear medicine, MRTN, MRTMR, and those four specialties have brackets after um, the MRT to show the specialties. For the specialty of diagnostic medical sonography, it's um, a little different in that DMS um, stands on its own. So it is now a specialty title and uh, DMS is the abbreviation. So only sonographers who are registered with CMR ITO are able to use the DMS designation in Ontario. We also have something called a protected title that's under the MRIT Act. And uh, our protected title is Medical Radiation and Imaging Technologist. And we can also use the abbreviation MRIT. But that's a general term um, for the profession, for the MRIT who chooses to use this. And we can either use our specialty um, titles or our MRIT, but we can't combine them. Okay, well, you can't say MRIT uh, bracket R. Um, MRIT has to stand alone, and it shows that you are a registered medical radiation and imaging technologist, but doesn't show your specialty. So here's how that looks for our professional staff at the college. So we have um, five professional staff. Uh, who are members of the college and, and registered. Um, myself, I am actually, um, my specialty is radiography, um, but I'm choosing to use the protected title medical radiation and imaging technologist because I'm the registrar uh, and CEO for all five specialties. So I'm using the more general term, MRIT. Caroline um, is our deputy registrar and she is registered in two specialties, radiography and MR. So there you can see how that looks, MRTR, MR. Annette um, is our QA director and uh, she's also a sonographer. So um, she uses her designations as DMS, comma, MRT, uh, R, because she's also uh, got the specialty of radiography. Janet Maggio, who's our QA manager, um, she has two specialties, uh, nuclear medicine and MR, so you can see how that looks. And uh, Tina White, our professional practice advisor, also has two specialties, and uh, her specialties are radiography and MRI. So that's how that um, appears in the um, real life or, or how it is that our professional staff are using the protected titles.
And all this information is on our website. If you go to cmartito.org uh, and look under members, there is a section on protected titles and abbreviations. And if you click on there, you can see all five of our protected titles and abbreviations there, um, just as a reference. So whatever we talk about in our webinars, you can find all the information on our website. It's a great resource and you should make sure that you have a look at it from time to time um, to make sure that you're up to date with everything. So you can check on the website. Um, you can check your own member applicant portal profile so, or our map profile. So if you go to the top right of the, um, of the website, you'll see a sign in. And here I've signed in to my map profile. And uh, you can see right in here is professional designation. So um, you can always go and check um, what, uh, what you have in your own um, member applicant profile. So my professional designation, uh, my specialty is radiography. So that's how that is showing up there. So you can always check. You can also check your public register profile. So this is the public protection piece, right? Um, this is where we say who is a member of the college, who's registered and legally able to practice the profession. So this is Annette Hornby's um, public register information. And you can see it's got her name there. It also has the registration status. So Annette is an active member. That means she's um, not resigned. She's not retired. Um, she's not suspended. She's an active member and able to practice the profession. And her specialty, uh, she has two diagnostic medical sonography and radiography. So that's what the public see, or most importantly, your employers uh, see when they go to check. Um, the register. Because um, the title is so important to making sure that the public and your employer knows that you're legally qualified and able to practice their profession, um, we do prosecute illegal practitioners. And now this doesn't happen very often for our profession, but over the years um, we've had a couple of individuals who were um, holding themselves out uh, to be um, medical radiation technologists at the time. And they were using the title of the profession um, and also practicing the profession without being um, registered with uh, CMR ITO. And so we took those two individuals uh, to the Ontario Superior Court of um, Justice, and there um, they were found guilty of illegal practice. So we also put this information up on our register or on our website um, so that um, employers um, are aware. So we do encourage employers um, to check both the illegal practitioners section of our website as well as the public register. So one big question that comes up, we hear about all the time, how do I use my other designations? That's fine, now I understand how to use uh, my MRTR or my DMS, um, but how do I use all the others? So you can start by having your CMR ITO protected title, and then of course your association designations or certificates or degrees that you, you will have because uh, of course your active registration with uh, CMR ITO is only a point in time. And uh, the difference is with the association designations or certificates um, or degrees, nobody can take that away from you. It doesn't disappear if you're no longer actively practicing. Whereas once you um, resign from the college, you're not able to use the college's designations any longer. So here's some examples of how they would appear. So for radiography, you can use your MRTR and you might use your bone densitometry certification if that's the area that you're practicing in. 
And for radiation therapy, you might have your advanced practice radiation therapist designation from CEMRT, so you can use that. For nuclear medicine and MR, you can use your um, CAMRT designations. And uh, for uh, sonography, you can use your Sonography Canada designations. And we know that they have three. Um, similarly, CAMRT have a lot more than three um, because they have advanced practice and the other four specialties. But for uh, Sonography Canada, they have the three areas of practice of general sonography, cardiac, and vascular. So here's how that looks for our professional staff at the college. So I can use my MRIT, um, my BSc, and I have a master's in public policy. Caroline um, has a master's in leadership. Uh, Annette um, uses her Sonography Canada designations in general and vascular sonography. Janet also has a back Bachelor of Science and a Master's in Health Sciences. And uh, Tina White uses her US designation, her ARRT. And you can see there, um, they've got a CT component um, that we don't have uh, in Ontario. So you can see how they're different. Um, and you really have to know the, the, um, the rules that are in your jurisdiction. So never mix up or make up specialty titles. So don't use MRT CT because that's not one of our specialty titles that's set out in the registration regulation. Similarly, you can't use MRIT with a specialty because that's not set out in the regulation um, or MAMO or make things up do those weird combinations uh, that people do. And I know that because you're here listening to this, you'll now understand um, that these don't fit um, and they're not set out in the legislation. So you can use your correct legal title when practicing in Ontario. And uh, so there they all are. We've been through them all, the five specialties and uh, the protected title of medical radiation and imaging technologist. And as you know, they're an indicator that you're currently registered and legally able to practice in the province of Ontario. So if you resign, you can't use those any longer, but then when you reinstate, you're able to use them again. And that's it. So I hope that that um, re uh, reduced some confusion for you. And um, thank you all so much uh, for your attention. Of course, this recording um, will be on our website. So if your colleagues missed it, they'll be able to go back and look at it. And don't forget to use this 20 minutes uh, in your QA um, ePortfolio. So thanks again. We'll see you uh, sometime in the future. Bye now.